Hey guys, this is Teddy's General. And Natuka Mongo once again. Welcoming you back to Let's Play Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. I've had a good week off, but now it's time to get back to work. Yeah, you've been in Texas. Bastard. Yeah, I've been... Leaving me in humidity. <laughs> yes, to enjoy the amazing sunshine and whatnot. So what were we doing again? Uh, we Remember we were trying to figure out what the hell to do because we got stuck? I have a great idea. Sledgehammer. If only we had a sledgehammer. I know. Anyway, but what we need to do is make sure that all of the orichalcum is in the orichalcum box. So use orichalcum. The orichalcum is already in the box. Well, thank you, Wendy. So let's just go and close the box. Now we're going to use the comb on a string. It's pointing toward that door on the right. Okay. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> Pick up. Look at the bones. I'll put them in the box too. Mm, or calcum. Yeah, we got more or calcum. Yeah, sorry guys. We yeah we've already done this. Um, I realized quite a few minutes ago that uh, I forgot to save. It's a hard rubber. So a we basically had to redo all the crap that you saw in the last videos. Again, and we kind of forgot about the orichalcum bit right there. So once again, we're going to make sure that we use the scarf, the comb. Give it the comb's charged charge. with static electricity. And now we will use it again. Hmm, it's pointing toward that blank wall in the back. Which blank wall? Because there's two of them. Oh, that one. So, can you guess what to do here? Mm, sledgehammer? We'll use the enriching tool. It's an enriching tool, unfolded and ready for use. Really, Andy, I didn't know it was use with wall. And with a few short swings, the entire wall Look. will crumble. <laughs> I wish digging was that easy. I know. So what's inside the door? A subway. <laughs> what the? Who? It's another aura calcum bead. Who the hell is leaving these behind for us? I'll put it in the box, too. Santa. Santa loves good explorers, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. So we're going to do what every other Atlantean has probably done, and I feel bad for those guys having to do this every damn time. We're going to use orichalcum in the mouth. That sounds that sounded, dirty. That sounded wrong. <laughs> that sounds Looks so like I've dirty. started this thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the thing started. And away we go. To Atlantis, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I'm wondering if this is like New York subway where uh, there's always a drunk guy on the subway. That and, you know, the subways crash every every day. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, whatever. But at least we have no. light. No. 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 Oh, there you go. There's some light. Wait. Ouch. Wait. I thought you were underground. I thought it was, too. Amazing. Yeah. I must be hundreds of feet below sea level. Oh my god. There's enough air pressure to keep the water out. It's impossible. <laughs> uh, okay. It's not impossible. Except if that were really true, I'd be dead. Maybe you are dead, this is all a dream. It's Touch ancient archway. airlock. Hmm. So guys, guess what time it is? Fumble around in the dark until you find a light switch? Yep. Sweet. So let's touch the wooden thing. Or the wood thing. The, again, sounds It feels dirty. like a ladder. It's a Jacob's ladder. Oh! <laughs> you had to go there. I had to go there. <sighs> so now we have a ladder. Uh, you hate these fumble around in the dark sections. Yeah. It feels like a steep, rocky incline. Steep, rocky incline. I know what to do. We use gum. Totally. Totally use the gum. I don't think that'll work. Oh. It worked well in the school, Indy. Well, I guess the only thing we can do is, I don't know, use the ladder. No, use the comb. <laughs> I don't think that'll work. Damn. Use your imagination. What would MacGyver do? Actually, yeah, he would use the comb as a grappling hook, wouldn't he? Exactly. Yeah, okay, well. Indy's not MacGyver, so. The ladder is in place. The ladder is in place. So let's... It feels like a ladder. You know, I can actually barely make out the screen on if you, like, stare really freaking close at the computer. Oh, you can. That's kind of cool. Okay. Really barely though. Yeah, barely as hell. Okay, stone thing. It feels like a stone feels like box. A stone box. Um, where is that? Um, use stone metal. I don't think that'll work. Um, can we push metal? Slide? I can't move it. Well, there's another stone thing somewhere. Where was it? Uh, over here somewhere. 
think. Or was it over No, it, it, yeah, it was over here somewhere. There it is, right Ow. there. Oh, sorry. Right I have my there. glasses. Right there. That's where, that's where the Yeah, is. touch that thing. It feels like a spindle for the stone disc. Like spindle for the stone disc. Okay. Where is that stone? Is it over there? I think I... The spirally thingy? What? Oh. What? Is it brightening up? It kind of is. That's never happened before. Then I've never fumbled around the darkness so much before. Okay, uh, I'm looking for that damn torch. Oh, uh, I don't know. It was somewhere near the wreckage. Cause it is slowly brightening up. It is slowly brightening up. That's cool. That is kind of cool. Cool. I can actually. Cool. I can actually make out what the hell I'm doing. Okay. I know that there was. You know what I'm talking about. I think so. Vaguely. You know, it's it's you know it, it was it was it was a little torch where you put an orcalcum bead and it basically acted as a as a flashlight. Oh, oh yeah, I don't remember where that was. Uh, was it would it be up here? And it's the metal slab. There's a stone thing. Oh, it is slowly it's brightening up. up. Oh, well, how about we it open the stone like box? A stone there you box. go. It's opened. It opens. There we go. Pick up metal rod. And then use or a calcum in the rod's mouth. Oh, that sounded wrong too. This is just a <laughs> bad day for things like that. <laughs> oh, oh. Ancient Atlanteans were dirty motherfuckers. They were. Remember, pick up ladder. Oh, right. God. Anyway, guys, and if you couldn't tell, yes, we are finally in Atlantis, but we're about to go to the outer ring. And there's one thing you need to know about Atlantis you need everything. And I mean everything everything if you leave something behind you're going to spend about 10 to 20 minutes picking it back up if you remember where it was anyway but once again there's a stone spindle so use use stone use moonstone use world stone oh look tall horns so once again rising sun rising sun New Moon was on the bottom. No, yeah. No, it was, uh, yeah, New Moon and then Volcano. volcano. I'm glad I didn't see it do anything. Oh. Oh, that's right. Now, this oh, is you where. Have to do in reverse. Exactly. Right. A lot of people will get stuck here and, you know, can say, well, I quit. I can't do this anymore. And then they go look up an FAQ. However, if they did actually read the lost dialogue of Plato, especially this line the final entrance yields only to contrary minds. That is the final hint to open up Atlantis herself, which is basically contrary, which means think, think in a verse. So the rising sun needs to be down here, the new moon needs to be on top, and the volcano needs to be on the opposite side. The mouth of the statue opened. The mouth of the statue opened. So I guess what What do we do now? I'm guessing we stick Orichalcum in there. Yeah, like a dirty person. And we gotta pick up the stones again. Yeah, please pick those up. Don't walk all the way back. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Outer Ring of Atlantis. If you remember in Plato's last dialogue, he described three rings. This is the first of three. The first we need to walk over here, because I think this is the one I'm looking for. Nope, not one. Nope. Now then, everything you find in Atlantis, like I said before, you use at one point in time. Except for the crabs. Well... Later. Later. But there are also many grates that lead to everything else. So let's open up this grate and climb through the hole. Legend of Zelda style. Nothing in here except for a door. No, and we can't use the entrenching tool because I can't use that in that area. So let's just walk to the door and be done with it. Ho ho! Oh, you jumped all the way across. Damn. That's kind of useful, actually. Mm -hmm. And... Once again, there's nothing in here, so let's go to the grate. There's probably something on the other side of the map, doing my luck. No. What? There you go. And he quit being stupid. Ooh. Giant robot holder. Pick up. And. You'd think the Atlanteans wouldn't be such slobs. But yes, um, we now have one of five parts. Oh, let's go to this room. Man, that thing's just jumping me all over the place. Ah, the lava room. 
And we can't do much to the lava room until we get... Um, Who's that Pokemon? Scyther! <laughs> oh, crap. Nazi! Nazi! No, run, run! Run! Room question mark! Go! 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 Yeah, there's Nazis around here, and if you get caught, you have to either fight them or... Talk your way out of them. And let me say, first and foremost, guys, the fighting mechanic system in this game sucks. And so we got the statue head, which means we can access the lava room finally, but we need one more key piece of equipment. Hey, never mind, I'm not gonna say that one's too dirty. Aw, oh, there's no picture. There's nothing. Oh, great. look, great. <laughs> Alright, let's go in. It's, oh, perfect. A pose. Pick up another eel statue. And, of course, we all know that if you put an orichalcum bead in the eel's mouth... This is... <laughs> dirty, dirty <laughs> game! <laughs> of course, my mind goes straight to Memoirs of a Geisha. The oh. man hands you a rice patty. He means he wants to put his eel inside your moist cave. Oh, Nazi. I have to do him anyway. You must be Indiana you must Jones. Be Indiana Jones. Looks like your adventure is over. But there are no game we'll overs in LucasArts games. I think I should find, another, I should hallway. find another hallway. Yeah. Yeah. Run, you yeah. coward! What's funny about it, though, is that you're just gonna run away. <laughs> like that! Glitch! Ooh. Serious Ominous. face. Ominous. And there's nothing in this room, but. Yeah. It's ominous. It is ominous, but we can't do shit with it. But there was a. Okay. Let's go to this question mark one. But yeah, this is the the only tedious part about Atlantis is the outer ring, honestly, because there's a lot you need to go and look at. You know, you'll find a lot of dead ends, and it's all really trial and error. Hey, there's no Nazis this time around. Where did he go? <laughs> Where did he go, George? Where did he go? <laughs> Nothing in that room. That'll great. Right. And the only key parts of the outer ring is oh look. <sighs> I remember well, this room. Yeah, well, we found Sophia. Hi, Sophia. So, walk out of vent. Walk it's to the tunnel. There you go. Yeah, there are three key components of the outer ring. There is the... Oh, shit, 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 shit. There's the sentry <laughs> that leads to the second ring. There's the lava house. Not from Sonic Spinball. Oh, and then there's this room. Which produces auric alchem beads. Infinite beads! Finally at last! Ultimate power! Thank you, Dr. Insano. You're welcome. Okay, let's go to this hallway and skip the Nazi stooge. Because let's say, as we found a Nazi, we're just gonna sweet talk our way throughout the, the entire thing. Screw fighting. Screw fighting in this game. It's, it's only if you had a gun! Yeah, I know, you know, if, if only Indy carried around like a uh, Colt 45, oh wait, he does. He's never used the damn thing in this game. Hey look, crab room. Yeah, this is also an important room. Later. Later. Actually, now that I think about it, I think the only time Indy ever used his uh, pistol in Fate of Atlantis was the other Fate of Atlantis game. Yeah. Do, do, do you know the game I'm talking about? Vaguely. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Great. Yeah, great. There are two Fate of Atlantis games. There's the good one, which we're playing, and then there's the shit one, which I refuse to play ever in my life. Oh, ooh, perfect. Ooh, now you can do it, now you can do it. With my last Auric Alchem bead. It is time to bring my creation to life! And screw up. Ah! ah. Uh, oh! And I'm suddenly reminded of Austin Powers. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Move! <laughs> run, run! Oh shit, before he finds out what we did to his friend. <laughs> uh oh. Ladder. Yep. Use ladder with gap. Grab statue. Pick. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Put into bag of holding. Put into pants. Remember to pick up the ladder again. Yes, yeah, as we cross. That's my ladder. Yes. 
Yes, we like, see it. Like, like he said, you need everything, pick it up. <laughs>